Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun, and today I wanted to share the things I bought from Dollar Tree yesterday. I was pretty happy with myself because I stayed away for about four or five weeks. I'm trying to save some money and just keep from avoiding too much stuff all at once. I'm going to try to wait until I've used up a good amount of stuff from before, um, or just try to wait maybe a couple of weeks before I go again, but we'll see how that goes. First things I want to show I already took out of the bag so they wouldn't get wrinkled. They are these very pretty gift bags. Whenever I see ones I really like, I go ahead and buy them because I get rid of these pretty regularly um, whenever there's a birthday or any reason to give a gift. And I really like the ones from Dollar Tree because the majority of them I think have this tag where you can write who it's for and who it's from. And this one has a pretty shiny elephant with flowers and leaves around it. And the back looks the same. And this one has shiny flowers. And there's the gift tag for that. It already says to and from. They're just good to keep around. In this bag I have baby wipes. I always like to buy from there. Uh, I think I've said in another haul of mine they work great. They're, they're better than some other baby wipes I've bought because they don't break into little fragments. They're not flushable, but I always try to keep these around for removing makeup and correcting makeup mistakes. Here's the a moisture eliminator traps excess moisture, eliminates tough odors, and prevents water damage. I'll probably put that in the bathroom or a closet. So here's uh, claw clips. I have some different colors of these already, and I did see them there, so I think they are a regular item. Here's what the other ones I have look like. And I really like these. They work great for me. And they're also good to use for keeping cords together if there's a color you don't really like. Um, like the black color blends into my hair pretty much, so I've used it for one of my, um, like a cell phone cord or some other electronic device just to keep it together. And then it saves a little time and it's a, li a little easier to take off than a rubber band or a twisty tie. And here are some, some more of these Quackers Kids Flossers with fluoride. They're the fruit scented um, 24 packs. And then this bag is a bunch of stuff in bottles. Um, now I heard this can be kind of harsh for your face, but I'm also planning to use it on my body, like my feet, and I think if you are going to use it on your face, maybe try not to use it more than a couple times a week, but it's the apricot scrub. Um, yeah, made in China, if that's a concern at all. Um, when I first saw these there, it was a few months ago, and they still have them. It's the Dial Hello Kitty antibacterial hand soap. It smells like grapefruit. I do like these a lot. I went ahead and just bought one for now. I think they are, they have a little bit more than the soft soap that they always, that they usually have there, but it's a sort of a name brand, so made in USA, and I really like the smell of this. And I bought these White Rain products. They're a little bit small, about four ounces, paraben free though, and they're Made in the USA. This one's a shea butter body lotion, and this one's a daily foot and heel cream. I didn't smell them yet. But. And this is a Spa House Ultimate Healing Moisturizing Lotion for dry skin, 12 fluid ounces, nourishing and healing. And this one's made in Canada. So, yeah, another lotion to try. Pure and natural shampoo, rosemary and mint, hypoallergenic, paraben free. Eight ounces? Yeah. <laughs> Made in the USA. And I bought the shampoo and 
conditioner from Spa House, uh, keratin oil shampoo and conditioner. Um, I bought another shampoo and conditioner from this brand. I don't really notice anything different, but my hair doesn't really change very easily with shampoos, although some types might be more tangly than others for my hair. But they're not tested on animals, made in Canada. And I heard it's good to use, um, to go back and forth between shampoos so your hair, I don't know, changes a little bit. So I'll probably go ahead and start using those right away. So I've been using the same one for a while now. Nail polish remover, regular, protein and rich for natural nails, six fluid ounces. And the last thing I bought was this Nivea cream. I'm not sure how much this usually is at the drugstore, but there's one ounce. I've never tried this before. I did check that it was, oop, had that seal on there. So, let's see. It's made in Mexico. And it just says like a multi-purpose moisturizing cream. Yeah. That is everything, so thank you so much for watching, hope you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye!